hello guys welcome to my channel chemical diary in this video i'm going to teach you about atmosphere distillation unit so first of before knowing this uh, unit we should understand what is distillation distillation is a simple process in which we separate mixture of component into different fractions take example how distillation works uh, in one glass or one cup take uh, petrol and water so time by time you see that water will remain same but petrol will evaporate so petrol evaporates uh, depending upon the its volatility volatility what volatility in nature let's call diffusion so without supplying heat it evaporizes and uh, vaporizes and uh, the quantity of the petrol will reduce so this is how we use distillation process in distillation process we supply heat so this is about the distillation now i'm going to teach you about the distillation which we do in petroleum refinery or petrochemical plant okay so today i'm going to tell you about atmospheric distillation unit atmospheric distillation is a technique used to separate component of different fraction into separate component in a crude oil that is performed under atmospheric pressure this technique is used to separate component having low boiling point so we use atmospheric distillation for low boiling point in this process preheated crude preheated crude heated to 250 to 260 degree and is further heated in a furnace up to temperature of 350 degree this heated crude oil is then passed into a distillation column in which the top pressure is maintained as around 1.2 to 1.5 atmosphere nearly one atmosphere pressure okay so after this we uh, after this whatever the vapors are there it go to the condenser and from condenser it separated into the surge drum and in the surge drum again it go to the distillation column and uh, for further purification of the separated products then we send to the storage tank after getting in pure form so this is about the distillation column and we can see that uh, there are number of trays are used so many trays are there maybe around 25 to 30 so this is the crude we get from the f uh, wells and uh, we send it to desalter in desalter uh, we remove salt water after that uh, oil uh, crude which is free from water and salt mainly is sent to the furnace and before that we have a preheater in which uh, we preheat and send to the furnace so this is the coil or tube tube side in which petrol or crude goes like this and go to the here so in this uh, we maintain temperature up to 350 so in furnace we heat and we send it to the column i'll show you one another fraction of this okay see you can see that First, with the help of pump, we send to the preheater, then to desalter. In desalter, and after that, uh, preheaters we send to furnace. 750 Fahrenheit is, is nothing but 450 centigrade. After that, we send to the trays. In this, we can see that there are total 32 trays. So we use. So these are number of trays. Okay. After that, we have pump around uh, tray in which we get to maintain the temperature we have a cooler whatever the extract uh, comes with the help of pump it go to the exchanger and again goes back to the column to maintain the temperature if in case temperature raises what we will do we send to the exchanger and we send if i wanted to make temperature uh, constant temperature we will maintain but if you want to increase the temperature we there will be a control wall with the help of control wall we send directly here and if you if you want more cooling then this control valve will close or bypass will close it goes complete to the exchanger and we get low so this is how we maintain temperature pressure inside the column you know temperature is proportional to pressure so when pressure increases temperature increases so if you want to reduce the pressure just reduce the temperature then this is how you will maintain okay so i told you there are many fractions uh, this is the main distillation column and these are the sub distillation column so after the separation we send this to again uh, surge drum in that uh, whatever the kerosene we receive 
if you keep it here and again we stabilize this kerosene stabilizer it means that um, we, we do distillation and same like that we have a small reboiler to heat and we have actually cooler also to condense after it goes and return back so what are the fractions are separated in distillation column see in distillation column we have so many trays so in one uh, so first top we will have a gases because of its volatility nature and low boiling point so 0 to 30 boiling point we will get gases and carbon number will be c1 to c4 and at uh, boiling point 30 to 180 carbon number will be c5 to c10 and what we receive naphtha and uh, carbon number uh, c10 to c16 is called kerosene and the boiling point of kerosene is 180 to 260 degree centigrade after that uh, carbon number c16 to c60 we get gas oils which boiling range is 260 to 350 so after that we get uh, lubricants which is greater than carbon c60 and boiling point range is 350 to 575 fuel oil greater than 70 and this uh, boiling point is greater than 490 you know we are for so bottom will be we will will be sent it to vacuum distillation now you can see the clearly um, we get many things according to the boiling uh, boiling point of so gases naphtha kerosene lubricant oil fuel oil as far as the temperature raises at high uh, we, we receive see in the tray fifth tray we send so by gravity whatever the condensed liquid go bottom and will be here and whatever the uh, flashes or papers goes it go up and cool down and uh, we send to the cooler and we receive it in, in the uh, sub distillation column see this is the main distillation tower and this is the sub distillation tower we we do it again distillation to get pure kerosene pure light gas oil pure heavy oil so these are the things we do, we get in distillation column atmosphere distillation So distillation column again I'm t I will give you some more definition distillation is the process of repeated heating and cooling in order to fractionate mixture of different component atmospheric distillation vacuum distillation are, are two forms of distillation the difference between atmospheric distillation and vacuum distillation is that atmospheric distillation used to separate low boiling point fraction of a mixture whereas vacuum distillation allow the component to be separated by lowering the boiling point of a high boiling fraction in vacuum distillation we reduce uh, the boiling uh, point by keep by keeping under vacuum okay atmospheric distillation is a long column with many trays and operate above atmospheric pressure typically 200 kPa the tray have bubble caps so these are the tray which have bubble caps this this like like that so whatever the vapors will go from here and uh, liquid will, will pass uh, from here so like this this is about the tray okay crude enters uh, into the edu in the atmospheric distillation tower above the bottom so called this is called flag zone the crude oil vaporizes as as uh, rises how because 450 temperature so at 450 temperature whatever the vapor goes up and whatever the uh, um, uh, vapors with the liquid will go here go here in separate column so this tower is divided into so many fractions and liquid is for an atmospheric residue so bottom will send to the vacuum distillation unit or you can say residuum as the vapor rises passes through the coal, uh, coal trays and cools when it comes in contact with the liquid crude fractions settle in a tray in the rectifying section and are drawn off at uh, different product so we get light product which have low boiling point so from here mainly light products tends to toward the top and heavier product in the bottom the very exit vapors at the top of the column that must over it partially condense in heat exchanger when cool naphtha condense and exists as a liquid while the latter product remain as gases so this is about so in my company I saw we will have 27 trays the crude oil is introduced into number 5 and these are and 7 for residue 10 for heavy diesel 
medium diesel, light diesel, kerosene. So this is how we divide the fractions into different and uh, heat is removed from the column through the overhead condenser and we have pump around cooler also so this is how we do and superheated steam is introduced in the bottom of the column at above 350 degree so as to reduce the partial pressure in the column thus enhances the vaporization and separation of the crude oil and uh, at, it is above the dew point steam is typically supplied at 1 kg per 100 kg of crude for example, if you have 100 person, if you have a feed of 100 percent, so in 100 percent feed you are going to supply 1 percent of steam only. So this is the main thing of concentration. And crude oil we send to the flat zone, it means uh, whatever the crude we have, we heat it up to 350 degree and we send it here. So these are the parameters and this is about the process, how we maintain. So you can say this, this is very good when you see this, these are main distillation, these are, these are the sub distillation columns and other thing I would like to teach you about atmospheric distillation with another diagram which is very much useful. See this, this is a crude oil we send to desalter, after desalter we send to heater and this is our main atmospheric, defla the atmospheric distillation tower in which uh, whatever the reflex is nothing but just pump around cooler so now see these are the sub distillation tower so we separate into kerosene light gas oil heavy gas oil and uh, water to treating light uh, and heavy naphtha okay so and whatever the bottom that is called residuum atmospheric residue or residuum we send it to vacuum distillation in vacuum distillation we further get light vacuum gas oil heavy vacuum gas oil vacuum residue and one thing I wanted to mention that even after this uh, separating the things in atmospheric distillation all the material still have impurities so these impurities have to remove like after receiving kerosene light gas we have to remove impurities impurities such as uh, sour gases or sour product in the uh, stream such as nitrogen sulfur oxygen so we, we remove this impurity by means of hydro treating hydro treating is the method in which we remove impurities by reacting this kerosene with hydrogen so when hydrogen react with nitrogen it become ammonia and when hydrogen react with sulfur it become uh, h2s and when when react with oxygen hydrogen it will become sour batter later we send this sour water to other unit and so on and this sour water in turns after we match stress we make it we send it sulfur recovery unit all units are interlinking it's a very big uh, knowledge of well to understand so this is about that perfect distillation which is very useful unit and i can say that distillation is the heart of petroleum refinery okay guys if you need any kind of uh, help or any questions you have you can put it in your comment box and if you need pfd then i can show you just uh, email your ID to my in comment box. Thank you.